So Patrick, uh, my second question for you is, we know that a lot of immigrants are coming here and they start searching for a job. Mm -hmm. But I feel that there is kind of a disconnect from the promise they get before coming and the reality here. Mm -hmm. And the reality here is that some of their degrees are not recognized, some of their skills are recognized. Some employers are saying that we know that you have experience abroad, but we need local experience. Mm -hmm. So how are you educating employers to take all those things into consideration and are you guys doing anything before people come in here to BC? Sure thing. Well, it's, I mean, you've, you're very right. I mean, you, you've, you've identified a very big problem that we often see for individuals and more broadly in the immigration system. Uh, I was once told that immigration is an exercise in optimism. Mm -hmm. So as you're looking to build a new life in Canada, you think, I'm a smart person. I've got all this opportunity there. I'm going to do really well. I can do it. Exactly. Uh, and in lots of cases, they can but there are certain nuances to the Canadian labor market that one needs to be made aware of. And there's a lot of research that needs to go into that before someone makes the decision to come to Canada. So you talk about pre-arrival, you know, and uh, as before someone comes to Canada, but even before someone decides to apply to come to Canada, I think it's important that they do their homework. One of the ways we're trying to help at that part of the continuum mm -hmm. is through our FAST program. So it's facilitating access to skilled talent uh, is, the, is the long name, but, mm -hmm. uh, but we call it FAST for short. And what we're trying to do is turn the conversation away from credentials mm -hmm. uh, to one of competencies. Okay. So to help the newcomer or the potential newcomer understand how their skills, what they can tangibly do, fit in with the needs of the Canadian labor market, mm -hmm. but then also give them a way to demonstrate to hiring employers how they can meet their needs. And in one way, we try, like I say, to overcome the, the question of credentials, because for unregulated occupations, you don't actually need a credential. What yeah. you need is an employer who trusts that you can do yeah. the job. The other piece that we have there is on the cultural side. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean to work in that occupation in yeah. Canada? So we're not talking about general information around weather or you know, the fact that it's cold in winter <laughs> and you need mitts. We're talking specifically about what does it mean to work in the skilled trades? What does it mean to work in IT? What is the Canadian work environment like for the job you want to do? And what we're trying to do with that is help the newcomer prepare themselves. So you know, temper that optimism uh, maybe a little bit mm -hmm. with a, a little more reality mm -hmm. uh, to say this is what you're walking into if that's what you uh, expect to do. But then it also helps give the employer confidence that the individual has a better understanding of how the workplace functions and how they can place themselves in that workplace. It's, it's a question of fit for yeah. most hiring, uh, you know, as most instances of hiring. Certainly that's what I look for in yeah. a candidate, is I want the right fit. And for someone who comes from overseas and has not worked in Canada, it may... Take time. It may take a little bit of time, but it may also raise some concerns from the Canadian employer that they don't know how to work with other Canadian employees. And that may be fair or not, mm -hmm. but it just takes a little bit of faith uh, on the employer side and willingness to work with the newcomer uh, to help them fit in like you'd have to do with anyone yeah you know it's, it's onboarding yeah. we all onboard staff whether yeah. you're from Canada or not and I think we what we're trying to do is help the employer recognize that and then make that process a little bit easier so all this information is available on the website I believe right it is absolutely. and if someone is new coming do they have access to the same uh, information or do they get mentorship or anything related so they can be prepared in the workforce? Well, a absolutely. So post-arrival, I've talked about our pre-arrival program. Post-arrival, we have Mentor Connect, mm -hmm. which is a program that we deliver with our service delivery partners. So the organizations in British Columbia that work directly with newcomers, we work with them to match their clients with employers uh, who are people who are already working in Canada yeah. and ideally work working in their field, in the same field, so that yeah. they can get that better sense of what it means to, to work Toward. in Canada and start to build those networks that are so yes. important to finding yeah. work. And I would say I was a mentor for someone here in yeah. BC. He was in HR, I was helping him. Just a little bit direction, you know, how yeah. to do it. And then I feel that that's important. When I arrived seven years ago, I don't think this was existed or I wasn't aware of it. Mm -hmm. It took me some time, but now that I know, I'm always telling people, you have this access, this information, go to their website and you have be all the all the information is there. So thank you, Patrick, yeah. for sharing that. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips for new immigrants coming here in BC that will be beneficial for them, please leave it in the comment section. 
like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in tomorrow for another question with Patrick.